the funds a little bit more evenly. In fact, he's holding a bit of a solo play down on long while the rest of the team splits into short. Already Por is going to be dropped. CNED will deal with him as he tries to push through alone. Is he already managing to find the trade with that rifle? Bladestorm available to him if he desires, and he will pull it out almost instantly. But Killers is there to shut him out. They're making this one costly, that's for sure. But still, a two versus three for the defenders. Yeah, another player drop, leaving Turco all by himself. But he was described as a clutch player. This time, he won't be finding anything. Ascend, obviously, having Zeke on that Odin is a, a big investment in these early rounds. And Izzy takes a headshot, doesn't even use his dash to get out, and he loses his life for it. Yeah, the pressure into mid, and Zenith's getting not only an opener, but he's finding a lot of information. The spike also down very far away, so they're going to have to go for a full rotation just to pick that one back up again, and it will burn quite a bit of time off of the clock. You can also see that there's a hell of a lot of utility currently set up for killers, in moving over to this Killjoy more recently, but it does, it seems to be working at least decently for now. It's not an agent that I would say is synonymous with him as a player, but the fact that he's slowly adding tools that he can wield within the server is going to be great for Ascend. The utility cycle on this push is working out perfectly for Ascend. As you look at their recon vault just now coming back online for Zeke, he's going to be able to lob that in as soon as he's left. hearing they are you being taken, run. and that's massive information for them to play with. He oh, has no. the Odin to work with as well, so that's going to be sprayed straight away to take down the Killjoy ultimate. The lockdown not in effect, and 20 seconds left. Supermassive Blaze have been completely outplayed. They need to just run into a stacked up site, and a Sander toying with them, just running Ten the clock down. Left. 10 seconds to get the spike planted, and there's still so many players on this site. That was a fantastic round. Go in for that weapon, but it got them the round there. Oh my, he's going in for it. Kill us. An absolute madman, and it works out for one. Yeah, I think this is one of the things that's always going to be added when you have an Astra. Just the ability mm. to have these dirty little setups, pulling players into angles, and especially in a round like this where there's only going to be pistols in play, it's going to become fairly difficult. And <laughs> I've seen it. That's probably the most knives I think I've ever seen fired off in one go. But hey, if he's going to get himself three kills, keep the round flawless for the side of Ascend, I don't think they're going to mind. Uh, a couple of kills would have been nice for the attack. Well, early information seems to be the aim of the game. Passing of the drones, and Starzo tries to peek off the back of it, but Izzy will win that opener. Further information for Zeke, and he's going to go for the wall back. He's going to get it as well. An instant trade. This man is doing so well on the Silver Odin, and well, I can see the smile on Mitch's face. I mean, I, I, you can't really resist it, can you? As soon as he got tagged up that second time, he was like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> he knew it. He's being punished for it this time around. Zeke coming in huge with the Odin, a staple of defensive side ascent. Sand on three rounds and the buy round for Supermassive Blaze. They again need to find a solution. They had the early opening Here. onto Starzo, removing the res from Ascend's hands, here. but they still need to get into a site. And as they look to push A, CNET is here all alone, but he has an operator and a dash still online, waiting to find a victim. There's the dash out. Oh, and he's even going for the spam. I like it. It's a good attempt, but now they're going to have to just play for the post plant, right? Yep. There we go. Spike planted. A lot of information garnered from the defensive side, but they're going to wait for that full rotation. They actually have a lockdown here as well, so you almost feel like the attackers are going to have to try and fight for some tree control, otherwise this is going to become incredibly difficult. They don't have any counter to it either. There are a couple of shot darts, but I don't know if they're going to be able to land it from here. Important to break the wall first, just so that they, they can't focus entirely on the lockdown. They have to worry about CNET coming in from above. And as the lockdown comes to fruition, Russ is staying in position. He catches them off guard and grabs a kill. That's good work by Russ, thinning out the numbers of the defensive side. But they're still covering this. The spray from the Odin grabs a triple okay. out of Zeke. And that is going gonna, gonna to be close. But I think they've just about got it. Oh, no, no, no they don't. The time's a little bit too low. 0.48 of a second. It's gonna play that little bit more aggressive and look to catch them as they come on through. Already up close is okay. Izzy, and he catches them off guard. A quick headshot, an op to be retrieved potentially by Supermassive Blaze. More importantly, the man advantage is now theirs. <laughs> Trying to bait out a shot or two, but it's actually Starzo that takes the bullet instead. They didn't connect onto Zeke, and he's still doing work with this Odin. The problem now is he's completely isolated. His teammates have gone pushing, taking control over the back of mid. They'll know that it is going to be a push in that direction at this point. The problem is, is there anything that Zeke can do to delay them? It's such a shame as well. Now, two rounds we've seen Starzo be dropped. Uh -oh. They have to play aggressive off this over on the Supermassive Blaze side. 
They know that that Hunter's Fury is coming in. They want to seize the map control first. They managed to go all the way towards the spawn. Holding up close as Killez comes out. Oh, that spray was so good! Huge damage done! These other players, 50 HP and Zeke isn't even gonna be blinded up. They're dropping down. 30 bullets left in the magazine. Oh, no! But it's more than enough. That's four kills for Zeke on the back side. And Bora all alone with nine left. They do not want to peek. They just want to run down that clock and then... Bladestorm is online for Izzy as we've seen. And that's the real point of danger. The shot not going to be connected by CNET right away. The sprays managed to catch Brave on the crossover. <laughs> oh, no. But Izzy has made it to the site. Starzo is taken down, but the shot is missed. Oh. A classic fight that goes Izzy's way. He's even going in for the spike plants, and it looks like he's going to get it. This is huge. Supermassive Blaze now have a lot more control to play with than it looked like in the early round. Turco down below with a Vandal. And the first kill is his. Eight bullets left. The Odin trying to find them, spraying into the dark, looking for those final tags, but they'll have to drop on him eventually. And here they come. Zeke still closing it out, but <laughs> damn good round for Supermassive Blaze. <laughs> those lockdowns, but they never really do anything for them. The counter's always there on the other side. The mid control that Supermassive Blaze have found again and again works out this time around for the bait, but they still need to deal with Zeke. So far, he's been untouchable, but he's only good for one. Starzo res online, but no ability to get them all back up. He has to take the duels as they come on through this choke point, and they just swing wide, taking him down, finding the B site, and Supermassive Blaze may just have found an answer to getting into this site and winning around. Oh, they do actually manage to catch out Brave, though. A peak that maybe is a little bit audacious. Cosmic Divide probably not going to be too valuable in this scenario unless they can try and section off the jewels, maybe close out the boat the house, give them something yeah, a little bit extra for this spot, but Bone Cold being caught leaves it all on to Killers and they know exactly where he is. Oh, Still, oh that's two instant shots! It's into the one versus one. The turret may not spot out poor at least for the moment, but it gives just that little bit of extra information. I think he thinks he's over into the boat house, though Pora will close it way too close for comfort. Killers is holding for the cross. It is a passive hold on the A site. Looking for a hard retake. Using that lockdown as we saw before, but Russ obviously, Hunter's Fury online, he has to be yeah. dealt with if they're to have any chance of using that lockdown to get back in. But that's the thing, we've got a lot of ultimates online, but some that will just be used as direct counters to others. So if yeah. anything, for now, Supermassive Blaze is just going to go in. Actually, Zeke's just popped his. This means they could, in theory, use the oh. lockdown at a later date. He's done a lot of damage off the back, and actually Killers has gone down to the Nano Swarm. A little bit of a surprise. We're going to see those ults go out exactly the same time, but one's already going to be destroyed by the Hunter's Fury. However, the frags are going pretty well so far for Ascent. They're going to bail out, let this lockdown go they're to completion. Get cool. All and of that's them. That's a big problem. All three players oh, today are the hunting them down. Brave finding One two. And it's all down to CNET, who's still trapped. That is a big, <laughs> big <laughs> loss <laughs> for Fight. This Izzy is actually already on the site, spraying away for one. He doesn't know that there's two more here. Bone Cold breaking out the door. CNET's good for the first. Down, Shut down right after. The trades are good. Supermassive Blaze. He's a little dash to get in backside. They're covering all their angles. They're playing this together, making sure they're trading. There's not a lot you can really get done here short of a god tier play out of one of these players. Yeah, and I, I think it's just Izzy basically cleaning everything up at this point. Haven't they are going to run into another heavy stack, but this time it'll be against Rifles. And Izzy is already on the site. He's being pulled in. He's being challenged. Somehow, though, managing to evade detection, make it to back site. Russ and Turco combined for a double entry. And this is a disaster out of Ascent. A great attempt by CNET up above, but Russ shuts him down on the trade. And Supermassive Blaze are not giving away these advantages. Oh, finally, we're going to see that res pop. It took the final round of the half for uh, something to be invested here for Ascend as they look to make their way through. It's brave to shut down another and they will hold on to the site. Seven to five in favor of Supermassive Blaze. Uh, number two with Supermassive oh. Blaze on the defense and that's a great shock dart to start it and a second right on the bone cold. No smokes for this push and very little health. Uh, he's done about 200 damage with that one. I I'm pretty sure that Jonas is going to have a big smile on his face after that one, but we'll see. It's going to be the push coming through. Russ in a solid position to at least try and get something done. They need to isolate him, and they will, but they've taken so much damage along the way. Still, though, it comes back into a two versus two scenario. Is he playing ring around the rosy, and it leaves just one man standing? It's Zeke. He's been fantastic so far in this map, but this is still a big ask. Yeah, most definitely is 50 HP in a pistol round like this, and there's two... 
ghosts on the other side ready to take you down. You see the paranoia there, right? He's constantly thinking like every bullet he fires, every time he knives the wall, someone's about to jump around and take him down, but they are just turtled in on the site. Now he's spotted out. I'll look to peek him together. Or not. <laughs> much more cautious about peeking any of these pistols. I think he was going to try and make a, a bit of a push back towards Turco. Luckily, I don't think he's going to need that extra HP. Turco just farming up every single player. And, ooh, nice shot from Izzy to close it as well. They're going to be taking their time. It's still walled over on the A side, but if anything, they're more stacked up on that side of the map. The Killjoy Utility is holding things back, and Zenit is going to find the opener, but a fairly hefty cost, and Izzy is already going to pick off Zeke. It's a good start for Supermassive plays, making these weaker weapons work for them. Izzy going over towards the Spectre. Getting back into the site now is a, a pretty big challenge. You know, for Ascend, if they manage to just lock this out, hold down the crossfires with the weapons that they have, it should be next to impossible. Take a look at the utility for Supermassive Blaze. With the exception of a recon, they haven't really got anything to play with. Now recon's about to be thrown out, signaling that the push is about to start. Drop down. Oh, well, the wall bag's taking them down. This is looking a little bit shaky. Ascend losing lots of players. Is he the last alive? He found three. It versus Ascend as they now look to back towards the B side. This is going to be a full push in. Supermassive Blaze, quite a bit away from rotating. These players on this site need to do a massive job of holding it down. Left. It's Pora and Russ caught inside the boathouse. Pora is somehow able to avoid being pulled all the way in. He catches them by surprise. The Blade Storm doesn't connect. And Russ, the final man standing there, sure he'll go down, but he's already taken three kills. He's left Starzo all alone. And even with the plans, the res won't be online. And they're rushing him down. Look at that oh, paranoia no dash in, and you are gone out of the round. Super massive blaze. Incredibly dominant by round out. In this one here, it is pistols in hand, and I'm willing to discount it because they shouldn't be able to find anything. Super massive blaze are holding down B main, stopping any sort of damage there. That means they can stack up the A side a little bit more heavily. Izzy, early aggression down middle, keeping his dash online until he needed to use it. Allowed him to get that frag, and oh, wow. I mean, <laughs> it's going as expected. I like the attempt by CNET to close the distance, but there are simply too many players around here for him to really find a gap to go undetected, to catch an angle where they're surprised. I'm actually kind of shocked that Russ is going in for that frag, but okay, fair enough. He's <laughs> feeling it. Oh, dear. It happens every once in a while. It's going to be the whiff, and actually that kill well. coming in quick enough, I was going to say. But the rest of the team is starting to be pinched on. It's going to be a spray down, though. They've just destroyed the push of Ascend, leaving just two players remaining. And honestly, at this point, what does Zeke and Killers do here? Zeke's got the ult orb, at least. That's a, that's, that's a positive, Tom. But it's <laughs> going to have Hunter's Fury for next round. It's all OK. That's what you need for the comeback. This is looking incredible from Supermassive Blaze on a number of fronts. Individually, they are showing up right there. Again. Something that we've talked about, the fact that okay, there we go. The fact that you're being split, if you allow them to gain control over surety of counters, they're available straight away. We're gonna see the Hunter's Fury popped, and actually, Russ, while going to try and take out the oh, has actually managed to take two kills with him. We are gonna still see the kill jail go through though. He didn't destroy it. He oh, just yeah. ended up killing the players. He got a kill and then he targeted it. Obviously, seeing where the other Hunter's Fury was coming from, Starzo putting up a good fight on the site. Move towards his teammates now after a quick double kill. But getting out of there is kind of tough, getting over towards the site. So instead, he's going to play inside of main and look to take the contact as they cross over and then swing with Killers. This is a powerful setup for Ascend. The smoke on Brave might give them a little bit of an opportunity, swapping over the op. Bogdan's Law there just to allow Brave to try and take this kill. Make advantage of his low HP, and in fact, Izzy's got uh, in for two! This is ridiculous! He's on the side and going for the defuse. It's gonna be ten, taken halfway. The turret doesn't even catch him to start with, and inside the cloud burst, oh. he is defusing, dropping down! Izzy takes the kill to Gilles, and that is a disaster oh of a round! It looked like Ascend would at least push up to seven, and actually rotated Starzo all the way over to the B side.
Yeah, they have a lot of ability to delay when it comes to A, but it looks like there's going to be a push straight through it. And Bone Cold, even on just one HP, manages to sneak past through the Poison Orb and find himself the opener. The wraparound from Russ is also going to meet Bone Cold on the Brimstone, and he's going ham in the pistol. Three kills already. Last man standing will fall to killers and ascend. When the, the Fnatic comp that we saw back in the day now elevated a little bit further, and they're bringing it to the international stage in style. Five versus four, and it's just cleaning up versus these pistols. Nice and easy kill as coming pretty close to having his ulti online, actually. Just three away. They're kind of clearing it, but he's gone undetected. This could be dangerous. It could be. They've also got the smoke, so it's isolating the jewels slightly. 45 seconds left as they look to take the fight and actually don't manage to pick him off. Even though Bone Cold isn't getting any kills from this, he's delaying them so much. Even going to put down another smoke. 35 seconds left. They're either going to have to make a play through it. He's just trying to spam back past. The drone will eventually clear it out, but the fact is they're now pushing into a three-man stack with only 25 seconds. Couple little tags in there for Bone Cold. Flash gets him, but he still takes down Izzy. Now looking for a little bit more, but out of ammo, the pistol had to come out. A player spotted on the site, but they don't know about CNN, who swings out and grabs a double, a triple, in fact, leaving poor all alone, and CNN finishes him off too. Would not have gotten out of there. There would have been a grab well. They would have pushed through a smoke, post flash, and taken him down. This is an incredibly aggressive stance to a round where they're up against pistols. And now the spike is obtained. Zeke is already spotted out Pora and Bone Cold takes that info and finds a frag. Super massive blaze only of sheriffs and now they've got to fight back in to where the spike is. They've already picked up one though. It's getting a little bit worrying but thankfully Zeke is popping off once again. This seems to be Starzo getting into a slightly more aggressive spot. It seems like he might have an idea that they're about to push this smoke. Now they're going to put up their screen, but he's waiting on the edge of it. A push through here would almost definitely grant him a kill. And is he going to be able to <gasps> avoid the drone? I think he has. He now that smoke might not last much longer, but he's going to find himself a freebie for certain. The orbital strike again. This is just splitting the push. They're stopping them coming out of bath, focusing on the fight over towards mid, and Starzo rips them a new one. Super massive blaze in a 2v4, and they're trapped inside of bath. They need to make a move out of here with 20 seconds left. Or else it's just going to be down to the save, and it looks like they are still going to commit for this round. Starzo actually getting pushed on, and with 10 seconds left, this could be an opportunity to get a plant down. Another kill comes back, but Brave needs to deal with Zeke if they're to have any chance, and the time was too low. This is a situation as well where we're again seeing the adaptation, the on the fly Flashed thinking coming out of these guys. CNET's going out for more. I don't know if he realized he's playing a Sage this time around. That's going to be an operator on the floor and a completely unnecessary necessary pick or peak excuse me to give them the pick but is he down well we get some old school operator play russ known for his jet before joining this squad and well maybe there's a reason is he's picking up oh, <laughs> don't do him like that nice molly nice molly for damage yeah obviously russ was the player who picked up cnet spot on bbl as the jet operator player he was literally the replacement for the man that got taken down and gave that op over but he hasn't found anything with it. It now falls to Pora to try and get some damage done. All the while that they are slowly pushing up long, there is a flank play coming in. Starzo's again taking contact. Teammates are there, and this is textbook. This is clean. I am absolutely loving the uncertainty, but from all the data that we have, that favors Supermassive plays. So they don't need to feel stressed if the start of this game or this map indeed at all doesn't go their way. Although this round has started out well for them, but CNET again falling right off the bat. Yeah, they have to have a decent idea where Killers was. The Flash wouldn't have caught him in any other spot, so they have been able to clear at least a close angle for now. Hunter's Fury also online, so if someone gets tagged by this, I almost assume that we'll see it come through just to almost guarantee the round. Two openers should be more than enough. And Killers, well, he's in trouble. Trying to dance his way out of this one. I think he's going to get away with it as well, so that's something at least. And they may not know the stars are waiting on the corner, but here strikes Izzy again. It's only one, but there is no chance for Killers here. He should be shut down at the back of the site, and it's left onto Bone Cold. Yeah, the 1v4 that looks practically impossible. Great push out of super massive blaze. Instantly trying to lock out any pressure into B. It was the success point in the previous round. Why do they put the Viper wall down if they're going to use the, the Viper's pit? 
That's one like small thing for me. I, I much prefer to use it for post plant, you know? Okay, it's there to help you out in hookah, but anyways, Izzy's... He's sending it. Bone Cold's down right away. Man, that's solo held down be long for upwards of a minute before. Didn't last a few, even a few seconds. Yeah, and his ultimate's also gone out of the round, so it gives a lot of the retake potential away. A very aggressive position as well from Zeke. Normally we'd call this the one and done. Oh, He's going to be in quite a bit so of trouble. Screwed. He has to go peeking, and actually, he'll take one out, oh. goes back with the showstopper, and he's still staying alive. The nades oh. get him out of what? there, and Zeke is just going ham. A third player dropped. He should have got nothing from that Five position, and now it's left all on Tapora. Everybody on the side of Ascend is just thriving through these rounds. A lot of information. They've just seen three players deep down in the smoke. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> What was he doing? He had the tiger out. It was, it was a choice. No, I think it was a flash, right? And he had a choice of either popping a flash or even if it was the tiger getting out of there. Just the information wasn't oh, there to play with. Nice. Oh, not wanting to play one of their permas moving away from other maps within the series. And you can't really blame them for that. The other side ascend. It's good to see them back. As you said, in the last map, it, it definitely okay. was... There was a lot to be desired, I think is a way to put it. Now, there are some decent alts here, Mitch. So it, it's not like it's all doom and gloom for Supermassive Blaze, but with a minute coming up at the clock, they actually don't really have any map control just yet. They're playing very passive. This has been an explosive map for Ascend so far. The rotate on the way to A, but for now, there's no choice but to just give it up. The Seekers confirming that there's only the one player close, but that info gets old very, very quickly. In fact, the entirety of Ascend now in towards the spawn they won't be able to do much up against this Viper's Pit. They have delayed the plant a moment and the nade through. Oh, this is going to buy time. Uh, Zeke goes right into the site, an ambitious play that does not pay off. This has just become spraying through a Viper's Pit and it's not exactly gone to plan. It's left all up to Starzo incredibly low. Now the spike was dropped and they're yet to get it planted, but it will eventually go down. This leaves the possibility of this round as slim to none. He needs an instant frag and Pora is already waiting. The retake. Viper's Pit ain't going to be online coming into the, the rest of this half with two rounds left, but Zeke okay. has just been completely destroyed. All right, Pora's starting to wake up a little bit. He's actually going to go through his own screen. That just opens up the A site solo. The remaining three players from Ascend might actually have a choice to make here. Maybe thinking about keeping some of the weaponry through. Never mind. See that? He's just gone down, taking three players with him. What is this man made of? Just two remaining on either side, and there's a chance now for Ascend. As if he's just ran through that smoke. They had absolutely no notion that he would. Poison Orb was down, activated, and they were about to snake bite it. Just a second of a gap left open, but CNED capitalized on it. Flash to backside. They know they can push through now without any sort of punishment, but it's Izzy far away with an operator in hand. The bullet gives him a haircut up behind Brave. Shuts Bone Cold down, and Starzo again needs the clutch. Up against an off. The flash will be shot out, but the time is so low. All he needs to do is run that clock down, and I think Izzy has gotten away with it. Another round for Supermassive Blaze by the skin on the teeth. After taking a lot of control, making a lot of noise into mid and bathrooms, it is a fallback from Supermassive Blaze. They've done well over the last few rounds to bait these rotations. Ascend quite quick to rotate in a lot of cases but after not spotting anything over onto A. It's the drone to pull back Starzo. He was actually heading into B. They had the right idea, and you could just see him running back and forth. They fall into Zeke, and Zenet is quick to keep the advantage in their favor. Oh, his pathing was a little bit rough there, but luckily no one got around to punish him in time. A recon to backside destroyed instantly. They know there's two players here, but CNET is taking them down through the wall. There is nowhere to hide from this guy right now. Super massive Blaze choose instead to run away. But they're not going towards the A site. Not just yet. It's a relocation around to long. They don't want to jump out. Oh, well, well. They don't want to jump out of hookah, but they're going to jump up long <laughs> right into his scope. Give a free kill away. And with 10 seconds oh. left, CNET quickly dispatches his final rival. No Looks like they're already out of this map, at least. And the pistol. The sand going to be going in for a faster A play. Zeke getting a lot of distance. Uh, Supermassive plays have been pretty sick when it comes to pistol rounds, at least over on Ascent. See if the same awaits them here. 
not going to find anything through the wall, at least at this moment. You need to be a little bit hopeful. There are two players coming in on the flank. Killers, if he goes down, there won't be as much oh. after pawn utility. He's done a lot of damage, though. And other support can actually roll in to try and help him. He might not need it, but the kills come back big and fast. Zeke and Starzo putting it back into a two versus two. And all this time, the spike has been ticking. They need to get moving. And on that flank, trying to split the apart. But Starzo is hitting absolutely everything. Sorry, so many rounds behind. Give them an extra opportunity. But they want to make sure they at least get themselves a purchase here. They're gonna try to hunt down Starzo. They're gonna have to switch over to the pistol. Seems to be the slightly more successful weapon. Well, uh, oh, good uh, night. Uh, oh, it's too deep! He's <laughs> Did he go for a knife? Uh, no, 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 no. He got the kill on the Starzo with the right-click classic. He was just jumping around. No, no, around. I mean, did Starzo go for it? Oh, did Starzo? Uh, I mean, he was very low. I would I would be surprised, <laughs> but then again, this is Ascend. And yeah, this is I, fine, I... So, possibly. Can we can we get that from his I mean, POV? Yeah, maybe I want to see if replay. he was going for a knife. I, I think he might have been. A you know, little replay of that would be nice. But Ascend... Looking to close this one out without losing anybody else, realistically. There. Supermassive players have already done quite a chunk of damage. Of course, poor at 38 HP running into a judge, and even with 150, you're probably not surviving that. So, Russ, no surprise, looking to just save this weapon over. Yeah. Oh, well, he? play play exits, I suppose, uh, I realistically. Die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jump into Spike. I don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously, this is second round. Next round is a full buy for Supermassive Blaze, and you're not going to take the hit onto your economy. For, Not for a uh, Spectre. For a Spectre, yeah. If it no. was a Vandal, hell Especially yeah. when you can afford a rifle and shields in the next round. To yeah, go for a Spectre survive. and no shields if you would don't be uh, a little bit weird. But we'll see. If he can make even an extra kill here, that would be nice. But Cena's going to put him in the dirt. I mean... It and now they're just two away from closing it out. This will be a bonus out of Ascend, not one we expect them to win, but they've always been a team that can surprise us. Zeke, with a judge in hand, is looking to try and get a closer range fight. His teammates can't really come to help him just yet. So much fight for utility, keeping them locked out. And look at that, Brain down to two health. So close to being able to open it up, and in fact, they still do. Now, now the numbers are evened up, and I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Yeah, they managed to pick oh! up the rifle <laughs> too. Okay, Killer's going for the one tap. He's not really going to get anything from it, and the spike is actually still waiting back through the teleporter. They're trying to bait people in on that rotation. I don't know if Russ is going to fall for it. I think he's realized that if they've not taken that control just yet with Izzy already waiting, he doesn't want to take the risk and give up the A-side completely. He's going to go on a long push through, and now that they've doubled up the defense, it might even bait that rotation. And Russ's position is a dirty one. If Russ had have taken that TP up against a bonus round, I reckon we could have just kicked him from left. the roster right away. That would have been <laughs> that would have been one of the most ludicrous decisions I've ever seen. And he immediately turned away, knew that he had to hold this position. Oh. So well played. Big brain from Russ. And even though he dies in the end, this is a round that was under heavy threat just a few seconds ago. And now they have to rely on Starzo pulling off a clutch. In fact, he's going aggressive to try and catch them off guard. Is he's already taken down. Six seconds left. That plant will be secured. Turco, the sky on the other side. It's a headshot to close this one out for Supermassive Blaze. A round that probably they've got rifles to work with here. This is the round that they'll look to take across the line. And it starts out so well. Izzy, a player who's really struggled so far, gets shut down right away. And Zeke is looking to take another fight, holding the angle and waiting for a player to come around the corner. Turco obliges. Kill doesn't go to either team. Zeke, though, going back out a little bit too greedy, and Turco will punish him this time. Yeah, maybe rushing a little bit to try and close this map out. Could come back to bite them. We know that Supermassive plays with momentum are one of the most fearsome teams that we have in the tournament. They're going to start surrounding this B side. Rotation actually started to go back in the other direction, but with the flash giving away that there's a player here. I was expecting someone to go back, but in fact, no, it'll just be the two players to try and hold onto the site. Looks like a sender rotating over in the TP, but that's only what it appears to be. The other two players are still inside Hookah waiting Ooh. to jump on out with the spike in hand. This is a dangerous play, a risky left. one indeed. And Bone Cold. <gasps> He's not going to catch the kill. Sure, Killers trades it back, but look at this down on long. Tucked away is Turco, and he catches them off guard. 20 seconds to deal with them, a double TP to close the round. Well, and now we come into a stage where you've only got pistols in the hands of Ascent, but only pistols. 
I mean, what are you going to say? Only seen it? Realistically, this is still one that can swing their way. We've seen it before. The super massive plays need to be careful. Is he? Coming close to getting the kill. Tags him up for Turco. And although Bone Cold finds one, there's still so much more to be done with that spike down. They have to fight for this control. Starzo popping his flashes endlessly. The TP comes through. And they just played that perfectly yet again. Really Oh, that's really unfortunate. That's the more typical position for the Viper and Pit to be put down from, but it's much deeper, so the Orbital Strike doesn't catch anybody. Pora able to play outside of it and then fight right back in. CNET basically on 1 HP. The push outside of Hookah did a little bit of damage. Bone Cold is through with three. A resin, but Russ is undetected. They have no idea that he's on the site, but Bone Cold again shutting them down. Sure, CNET falls. But it's a two versus one, and Bone Cold aces the round 12 to 6. And what an incredible round it was from this Brimstone. Match point. The worst thing is, is it started off with the ultimate gang. Absolutely massive plays to bounce back coming into the next. To see the ult pop fairly early in this round. Actually, you know what? Russ is going to find himself a kill. A freebie opener, and with some of the weaponry a bit weaker at the moment. I assume the reasoning is because Zeke actually has a showstopper. Yeah. A chance for him to open up. And, well, there he goes. <gasps> that almost looked like it was going to be a double damage done. Just 68 HP left on Brave. The nade comes dangerously close. And a spray down from him. He's trying to deal with the wall. Get it out of play so they can spam on through. But that just opens up the room for Starzo to get into position and grab himself the kill. Three versus three. No orbital strike to play with here. Izzy spotted coming up behind. He's no! He's getting the kill on Zeke! But Bone Cold somehow manages to trade it back. Uh -oh. Tough kill for him now. The Bone Cold acing the previous, and he's going to come up with another massive clutch. This time around, it won't happen. <laughs> that... Timer's pretty low, but I think nah, he still he's got it. Fine. Yeah, it's still it's still comfortable enough. Yeah, he's gonna take a little bit of damage from it, but th that was never in question. Had loads of time to get that defuse. I like the fact that he did have the molly ready. Seven, if, seven. if he gets that kill, make a blast pack play through. If he just runs, he's dead nine times out of ten. Oh, Russ oh, might be as well. No. Great utility usage. Is he not good for the kill? And Zeke takes him down. Not That's like an up retrieve. Starzo's eliminated. Turco. The B side is theirs, and Ascend have a five versus two to look to close this one out, to stay alive in this tournament in Masters 3 and bring us all the way to the deciding map. You can't end it with a thrifty. You just can't end it with a thrifty. It's only left on to brave the youngster to try and give them something in this round. It was a beautiful execute. But this is not the way that SMB wanted to fall out of this map. Very oh, he's dead. He's, he's going to have to try and run away. Ascent will take it 13 to 7. Just.